Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now. Girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, eh? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then what will it be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful, but, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. Now, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. You're lucky. And my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. And that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? Here we 
we are. Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. All right, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah. You know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in Old Prosperity, she you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits... Wait, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. Hey, isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast. Tell Winston I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that. Yet. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Wait, what are you doing? Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family, you have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh, it's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> you're a good-looking man. Thanks, but 
but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here, I'll be right back. What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it... When energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. I, I, I am here and not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. Ah, well, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. say no. Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of me. I hope so. Now sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. But you have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope. I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man. That's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy.
see you again soon. Bye bye. Hey man, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry, there's still time. Don't start without me. Why don't you have a pork bun in your hand? Find a way inside. I I'll go get help. <laughs> 